open up the recording. So take your time breathing and moving. So this will be our first in our chair yoga and mobility for HD. Um, if you're practicing and you have um, access to a strap or a belt, this is going to be very helpful for this class. We're going to be utilizing um, sound and movement together. The idea is, is to strengthen out the muscles in your throat. There's, you have a flat uh, muscle that goes, that helps with swallowing called your platysma muscle. And when we make sounds like hra, hri, we're utilizing a little bit more power through our diaphragm, which keeps the chest and the ability to swallow and talk in do all the fun stuff we do with our throat uh, as um, healthy as possible. So we want to maintain the function of the voice and of the throat and also of the diaphragm. Okay, so Anna, if you can, um, if you can grab a strap or a belt from home, you can just use a belt that you would wear uh, around your waist, or I have a scarf there that you can roll and you can use. And again, I'm going to go ahead and mute so uh, it won't show up in the recording. So if you have questions, you can flag me, you can wave like this and I'll come and I'll come check up every now and again. And you can also write in the chat, which I'll be able to see. Okay, so uh, did I mute? No, I didn't. Uh, mute all. There we go. Continue. Okay, great. So I want you to start in a position on your chair that you feel relaxed in. So this can mean you're leaning up against the chair. It could mean you're away from the chair. It's just up to how you feel. And then take a moment to relax your eyes and relax your hands onto your knees. And then once you have your eyes closed, take the opportunity just to check into your body. Can you feel your breath move in? Can you feel your breath move out? And you don't have to control it at first. I want you just to connect to your natural rhythm of breath. Notice how it comes in. And then notice how it moves out. Good. And then completely exhale. Let your shoulders relax, let your arms relax. And we're going to start with a few big breaths in and out. Okay. Take an inhale through your nose as smooth and as deep as you can. And then exhale through your nose or your mouth and allow your arms and your legs to relax. Okay, four more like that. Inhale. And then exhale, arms and legs relax. Perfect. In. And out. That's it. Let your shoulders, your arms hang heavy. Relax around your face. Breathe in. And then breathe it out. Good. And as we start to move through the practice and the flow, as much as you can, allow your breath to guide you in and out of your movements, doing your best to stay in your pain-free range of motion. Take breaks anytime, and anytime your mind wants to wander or drift off, just remind yourself to come back to your breath and back to your body. So from here, we'll do a, free, a few freehand motions and then we'll add in our work with the strap. So as you inhale, can you stretch your arms out to your sides and reach as high as you can up, pushing your feet into the floor. 
Good, and then exhale, relax your arms and relax your feet. Perfect, okay, so feet are pressing down into, your, into the floor of the mat. Inhale, push the legs down and then stretch your arms up. Hold your breath for a few seconds and then exhale it down. Okay, very good. Slow down your breath in, inhale, rise. Hold at the top. Exhale, lower it. And relax it. Perfect. Again, when you're ready, inhale, rise. Hold. And then exhale, relax. And relax, drop your arms. Very good. Again, inhale, rise, push your feet down, reach up. Good, and then exhale, float your arms down, let them relax beside your waist. Good, that's it, we're just letting someone in. Perfect, good. Okay, so if you're just joining us, make sure you got a seat, and if you can, you're gonna grab a belt or a towel to utilize for some of your movements. Okay, so now we stretch the arms up and back. We're gonna put our hands on our knees now. So when your hands are on your knees, I'm gonna make a little pivot so you can see from the side. Separate your back a little bit away from the chair. So you want a space between you and the back of your chair. Okay, and then rest your hands up on your knees. So as you inhale now, lead with your heart. Can you bring your heart forward, pull back on your knees, and give your arms a little squeeze to your side body? And then as you exhale, can you curl your back muscles and round them out? Perfect. Again, inhale forward. Give a squeeze, try to hug your elbows in. Good. And then as you exhale, round your back muscles and curl, relaxing your chin to your chest, okay? Four more, hold your breath after you breathe in. So inhale slow, stick your heart out, take your shoulders off your ears, give a little squeeze. And then exhale, take your time, find that roundedness of your back, curl it towards the chair. Good. Again, inhale forward. You can use the strength of your arms to propel your body forward. Pull back, give a little squeeze. Good. And then on your exhalation, curl it back and then feel the spine round. Very good. Again, inhale forward. And then exhale back, curl and round. Okay, that's wonderful. And then inhale back to your forward position. Shrug your shoulders back. Now hold a little longer, stay there as you're breathing in and out. So now we're allowing the spine to get a tiny bit stronger. Hug your elbows into your side body so you're feeling a little bit of a squeeze. And then pull back on your knees. Hold it there as you breathe. So you want to tighten the muscles between your shoulders. Keep your back strong. Three, two, one, and then curl it out. Let it round. Let it relax and release. You can even wiggle freely, loosening up anything that got really tight in that last movement, and then come back to your center position. Okay, beautiful. Okay, that's great. So we went forward and back. Now we're going to play with a side-to-side -side motion. First one we're gonna do hands-free and then we're going to add our strap in, okay? So feet can be hip or wider distance. Press your feet into the floor like you are pushing the floor down so you feel a little bit more engagement with your legs and then inhale your left arm up. Okay, now as you exhale, can you bend over to this right side? So the left arm reaches across and you're trying to stretch your side body. Inhale, reach up. 
Good, and then exhale to the side. So feel the arm lengthen, relax your neck and your head, and reach over. Inhale to rise. If you can, you can take your right hand and anchor it to the outer edge of your left hip. So you keep a little bit more of a control and then stretch and reach over. That's perfect. One more time. Up on your breath in, and then we're gonna go for it. Reach and stretch to the side. Good. And then inhale, rise. On the exhale, relax that arm and roll it off a little bit. Perfect. Okay. And then go ahead and find that same stretch with the right if you can. So inhale, arm reaches up. Hold at the top. On the exhale, bend over to this left side. So you're stretching from the outer edge of your hip to your fingers. Inhale to rise. You're welcome to take your opposite hand over towards that right leg and hold it there as you stretch. Helps anchor your body a little bit more. Relax your neck a little bit. Inhale to lift, so strong lift. You're trying to lengthen the whole right side body. And then exhale, reach it over to the sidewall. Yeah, good. And then inhale, rise up. Try taking both arms. Good, and then on your exhale, relax them down. Good, and then give the shoulders a few shrugs. Roll them back, roll them forward. Three, two, and then one. Okay, so here in this next round, we're gonna repeat the arms going over and the side. But this time as you exhale, we're going to utilize a sound. So like I said when we started, we're going to practice exercising the muscles in the throat and the diaphragm. So it's okay if it sounds funny. You can laugh at your teacher. Um, you can laugh at yourselves. But really just practice making the throat do some work. So take your strap. And if you're going without a strap because you don't have one today, um, we have people at home that are using a belt or using a scarf. You don't need anything fancy. You just need to create more space in your arms for them to go over your head, okay? Okay, so then take your hands onto your belt, bring it out in front and take it a little bit wider than your shoulders. And if you have stiff shoulders, even go wider than that. Okay, now we're gonna play with ripping. As you inhale, can you rip the strap? Hold it as you exhale. Okay, now inhale, reach it as far over your head as you can. Hold your breath, and then exhale, we're gonna sound with hra. That's it. So just H-R-A, hra, belly comes in, you're projecting sound through the throat. Again, inhale, rise. Hold your breath. And now strong sound. Strap comes down. So you'll feel your abdomen pulling in. Okay. Inhale, lift. Hold your breath. Exhale with your sound. Okay, it's going to get warmer. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Pull the strap apart over your head. Let it go. Perfect. One more. Inhale, big lift. Exhale with sound. Very good. Give your elbows a little bend, roll it off can let your eyes relax and just feel what that sound feels like in your body. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna add a lift and a rotation. Okay, so inhale again, pull, lift, hold your breath, and then exhale, turn to the right with the same sound. Inhale to center. Hold your breath, pull apart, turn to the left on the exhale. Hra. 
Inhale up. Exhale, arms down. Good. Round two. Inhale, lift. Fill and pull apart that strap. Exercise your arms. Turn to the right with sound. Doesn't need to sound pretty. Inhale to center. Work your diaphragm, your throat. Exhale. Center on the breath in. Good. Exhale, arms down. And roll it off. Take a breath. Okay. We have three more repetitions in that same exact set. Your body's going to get used to the motions over time. Project your sound as loud as you can. Work your throat. When you're ready, inhale your arms up. Pull and stretch. Good. Turn to the right with your sound. Center on the breath in. Hold, turn to the left with sound. Inhale to center. Hold, exhale, arms down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Hold, exhale, turn. That's it. Inhale to center. Keep pulling apart your strap. Exhale, turn to the side. Center, inhale. Arms down. Exhale. Beautiful. One more time. Work it out. Inhale, up. Rip it apart. Hold. Exhale to the right. Center on the inhale. Hold to the left. Inhale, center. Finish strong. Keep ripping it in half. Strong arms. Exhale down. Good. Relax your fingers. Relax your arms. Take a moment. Close your eyes and move the body around. Yeah. Let it be gentle. And then start to just move around your fingers on one hand. Just allow. That's it. Just releasing a little bit from holding that belt and strap. Same thing with the other side. A little bit of counter motion between. If you need to interlace, you can stretch a little bit deeper by joining the hands together, pull them into your body, and then exhale, stretch them out and lock the arms. Yeah, and just hold them out there a moment. We're going to keep doing these little bit of stretches in between holding the strap wherever possible so that we don't have sore or crampy hands when we're done. Good. All right, so again, we're gonna work in a little bit of the side body. So I'll change a little bit of my positioning again so you can see a bit better. So now again, we're gonna go to the sides and then add some movement, okay? So hands can grip again your strap. If you're going hands-free, just bring your hands up. On the inhale, stretch them up. Hold your breath in and then exhale, bend to the side. That's it. Good. Keep pressing your feet into the mat. Inhale, rise. Exhale to the other side. So you can use a strong part of your arm to pull the other side. Good. Inhale, lift. Now exhale. Let a little bit more uh, strap open up. Bend at your elbows. Try to pull your elbows down your back. So from the side, it looks like this. From the back, it looks like this. So you're pulling them together. Inhale, rise up. 
and then exhale, pull them down your back. Try to draw the lower part of your belly towards your spine so you're not flaring at the rib cage. Yeah, beautiful. Inhale, lift, rip, and then exhale, pull them down. Slide your shoulders, try to feel that squeeze, almost like you're lifting weights up over your head. Yeah, good, inhale up. And then exhale, pull. Hold here now, keep ripping, stay for three, stay for two, and then let it go. Let your strap go, and again, let your hands go. Make any movements in between that you need to to feel more comfortable. Okay, now you can keep your belt across you so that you don't have to reach around for it. It's a good spot for it. If you have the space available in your chair, I want you to take your feet out and stretch them into this wide V position. We're gonna play with a little bit of warming for the hip joint. Hands can support you behind your chair or on your armrest if you have a chair that has an armrest. As you inhale, can you turn your toes outwards? And then as you exhale, can you turn your toes inwards? Good. Inhale, turn the feet out. So now you're playing with gentle hip rotation. Can my hips rotate externally? Can my hips rotate internally? Good. Inhale, rotate the feet away. Exhale, rotate the feet in. Good. Inhale, the feet away. And then exhale, the feet in. One more. Away and then inwards. Okay, good. Now rotate those feet away. Good. Drag them back to the floor so that again, you're starting in that wide V. Okay. And then hands can stay down or you can bring your palms into the center of your chest and push them into one another. So when the hands meet and you press them in, you should have some engagement of the muscles in your shoulder. You should feel some alertness in your back and in your arms. Now, as you inhale, try flexing one foot and lifting that knee up. And then exhale, bring it down. Inhale the other side, flex and lift. Exhale, it down. Okay, so it's gonna challenge a little bit of your hip motion and your strength in the midsection. Good, lift and lower. Good, lift, take a breath out to flex. Inhale to relax. And then start to walk your feet progressively inwards. Lift, land a little closer. Lift, land a little closer. Lift, exhale, land. Lift, and land. So it's like you're marching on the spot. One leg up and down. The other leg up and down. Now we're gonna add some arms to that same exact motion. Inhale, pull the arms out to your side, rotate your palms up, lift your chest. And then as you exhale, lift one knee, point your toe this time. Can you curl yourself into a ball and pull your knee up to your nose? So you're curling up your back. Good, then land it. Take it down, inhale, sit tall, open your arms, try to aim your heart to the ceiling. And then exhale, opposite leg. Point your toe, curl your back. Try to hug it towards your body. Good. Inhale, leg down, arms up. Exhale, try with your sound. Inhale. Pause with your sound. Good. Down. Inhale. Exhale. Knee up with your sound. Opposite side. Inhale. Opposite leg. Exhale. One more on each. In. 
Perfect. Hold. Let it go. Power sound. Switch legs. Inhale. Exhale. Power sound. Good. And then inhale. Sweep your arms up. Big breath. Exhale, hands to your heart, same sound. Stay here, take a breath. And relax. Okay, a little bit more motion now for your whole body. Again, I'm going to keep pivoting so you can see the angles that we're working with. This is what we would call in regular class as a sun salutation, where we're moving up and down and kicking out the legs. Take a break anytime you need it. Take rest at any point. When you're ready, pop your hands to your heart. We're gonna use that sound on the exhale. Inhale, circle your arms up, big reach. Now exhale, we're gonna fold forward on the way down. Place your hands on your legs, relax your neck and head. Inhale, lift your body back up. Now on the exhale, curl your spine like a cat. Inhale, bring your body forward, spread your arms. Give a squeeze between your shoulder blades and then exhale to center with that same sound. Pop a hand to the heart, lift your chest. Inhale, kick a leg out. Stretch the back of your leg and hold. Exhale with sound. Inhale, opposite leg, kick. Squeeze and hold for that moment. And then exhale, utilize your sound. Opposite leg, inhale, kick. Hold, nice and tight, top leg, exhale. Switch, inhale. Kick and point it out, squeeze above your kneecap, exhale. Wonderful, arms go up, full breath. Good, fold forward. Hands land on your thigh, relax the weight of your neck and head if that's possible. Good job. Inhale, lift your trunk up. Curl on the exhale with your sound. Cave out your abdomen. Move your heart forward. Take a deep breath in. Squeeze your arms back. We're repeating motion so you get used to it. And then on your exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Scoop up your hands underneath your right side leg. So you're coming into that interlaced position. As you inhale, kick your leg out. This time as you exhale, hug it towards your trunk. Good. Stay on the same leg. Inhale, kick. Exhale, it comes in. Beautiful. One more on this leg. Inhale. Kick. Exhale. Give it a hug. Lift your body up towards your leg. Hug your elbows in. Let it go on the inhale. Drop your legs. Stretch your arms up. Push into your feet. Find length through your body. Beautiful, everyone. And then exhale. Bring it down. Scoop up under your left leg. Give it a little lift when you're ready. Inhale to kick. That's it. Push your heel out as far as it'll go. On the exhale, bring it to your body. Keep moving the back of your throat. Inhale, kick. Pull back on your toes. Exhale with your sound if you can. One more on this leg. Inhale. Flex and kick. Exhale. Good. Inhale, lower the leg, stretch your arms up, big overhead reach. 
Good. One more with sound. Exhale, lean in. Good. Inhale, lift the body right up. Curl your back muscles on the exhale. Push the sound out. You got it. Inhale, open your chest. Give a squeeze and then exhale to center with your sound. Now break with your arms and breathe just naturally. Relax your eyes and just feel all that vibration you've created in your body. Give a moment for your natural breath to come back. Okay, that's it, okay. So now one more leg extension here. This time again, we're gonna utilize our strap. So you're gonna take your belt, you're gonna hook it up underneath the arch of your right foot. Okay, so we've already extended the leg quite a few times. Good. Do a little time check. Good. And then lift your leg up and extend the back of your knee. So you can crawl your hands as close to the leg as possible. So you're not having to bend and pull at your elbow. You're just kind of water skiing it out. Yeah, very good. And then hold it there. Squeeze above your knees. Inhale to lift your chest. Exhale with or without your sound. Full breath out. That's it. Three more. Good. It's okay if your knee bends and you're pushing out. Strap is just there to help you find that length. Now, if you feel more comfortable, and this is a big if, see if you can release your strap and hold your leg up. It's going to be a lot of work. So hold and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and then give your knee a hug. And when your knee comes in, you can explore the range you have with it. Yeah. Good. And then bring this leg down, give a little stomp off. Okay. And then switch to your opposite leg. So again, if you're utilizing strap, if you don't have a strap, you can hold under the leg, put it into the sole of the arch or the arch of the left foot and then kick your leg out and extend it. So it doesn't need to be high, but you wanna go into a place where you can allow this back of your leg to stretch. So however you need to hold it, lift your body up, let it stretch, okay? Each time you inhale, sit tall. Each time you exhale, do your best to relax. Three. Good work. Two. Good. On the last one, I'm going to invite you to flex the muscle above your knee. So you give it a tight squeeze, kick your heel out. Now you have an option to release that strap. Okay, it's a lot of work for the leg. Five, three, four, tighten it up. Three, two, and then pull it in, give it a good hug, and then play with your range of motion. What's your pain-free range of motion on this side? And then let that leg come down. That's wonderful. And then once the leg comes down, you can narrow your feet. So this is the first time we have our legs together in this series. Yeah, we're gonna add a rotation. So pop your hands into the center of your chest, take your shoulders off your ears. So as soon as the hands come in here, it might have a tendency to hike, that's okay. Just notice, can I pull my shoulders back a little, down a little? Can I have space between my ears and my shoulder? Now inhale here, sit tall. Squeeze your legs together, so use them. Push them into one another. As you exhale, turn your body to the right. I'm going to mirror you. Turn to the right. Good. 
Inhale to center. Keep squeezing your body towards one another. So the legs are engaged. And as you exhale, turn to the left. Good. Inhale towards your center. Exhale to the right. Squeeze your legs and rotate. Yeah, good. Inhale to center. Relax to the side. Start to get your rib cage and your T-spine to move. One more. Up. And then twist to the side. That's it. Keep the legs pushing into one another. Inhale to center. Exhale to the opposite side. Good. And then inhale to your center. Exhale, drop your arms, roll them back a few times. You can give a little separation with your feet. Doesn't need to be big here. Inhale to reach your arms up. Now we're going to hang out a little bit in this forward motion. So lean forward and let your elbows just drop to your legs. So we're in a half forward bend. So you might find it easier to stay in this halfway lift and relax your neck and your head. If you're a little bit more comfortable here, you can let your body fold and relax your neck and your head a little bit. And then if you're in that variation, you're gonna breathe into the back of your ribs. And then let your neck and your head float down. Good. Four breaths like that. Inhale into the back of your body. And then exhale to drop the head and neck down. Good, that's it. Breathe at your own pace. Feel the back body expand on your inhale and then relax as you exhale. Even allow the arms to ragdoll down if they're hanging. Good, again, in and out. Okay, and then to come up from here, press your hands on your legs as you inhale, rise up. Okay, and then on your exhale, let your body lean back and then just get yourself comfortable. Relax your arms, relax your legs. So I'm fully extended, you can have your legs wide, you can have them together. Just get comfortable so you don't have to lift your body up anymore. Very good. And then let your eyes relax. Let your palms settle on your lap. And start to exhale fully. Let all the air out. Inhale through your nose as slow as you can. When your lungs feel full, hold them for at least five seconds. And then exhale completely, let your body drop. Okay, five more like that. Let your breath come in. Hold. And then let it go. Smooth, long exhale, arms, legs, neck and head, relax. Good, four more. In. Try to slow down your breathing as slow as you can make it and then hold it. And then exhale slowly, arms, legs, neck and head, get a chance to drop. Three more like that. Two more. Take your time. Sip the air and try to slow down your breath in. Good. One more, the slowest, deepest breath you can.
and then exhale it out. Let your arms, your legs, your neck and your head soften. Let your eyes relax. Now your natural breath can come back. Giving your body just a few moments here to unwind and really integrate all those movements we did. If you can, soften the space around your eyes and relax around your jaw. Allow your body just to feel a little bit more rested. Let your legs become heavy, your arms become heavy. All the parts of your body that you've been moving around, just let them drop for a minute or two. Letting any thoughts that move through your mind just continue to pass by like they were clouds moving through a sky. Just watch them, they'll rise, they'll fall, your body will feel sensations. Focus your attention on the rhythm of your breathing. Just watch it, breath comes in, breath comes out. Everything else is secondary. Keep watching your breath. Notice where the mind goes. Bring it back to the present moment anytime it wanders without judging or getting mad. Just think, oh, I'm thinking again. And remind yourself to watch the breath as it comes in, as it comes out. Perfect. And then inhale your palms together so they meet in the center of your chest and hold them there for a moment. And from this place, I want you to think of at least one thing you have in this moment to be grateful for. It's one thing 
It's okay if there's more. We invite more, but minimum one. And allow that feeling of gratitude, whatever that is, to fill your heart as you breathe in. And as you exhale, let it move down and energize all your cells, down your arms, down your legs. And then rub your hands, build a little bit of heat within your palms. And once they feel nice and warm, give a little cup over your eyes. You're blocking out some of the light that's in the room. Let your eyes relax. And then open up your eyes inside your palms. And then very gently float your hands back down into the center of your chest. Very good. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bow to your own practice. Thank yourselves for the energy and effort you put into being here today. And thank you so much for joining us. Have a lovely rest of your day.